People actually like Jenko? Yo, bro, what the fuck? I would have never put him on the show if I knew people were going to take their eyesight away from me and not to Jenko? Dude, bro, I haven't talked to my dad. He agreed with me. That can't happen, bro. <laughs> Keep the money in the family. All right, uh, Jenko, he does it all. Listen to this. He hates when people commit suicide. He hates it. He hates it. Dude, you have everything to live for, he says. <laughs> Consider Janko the Al Pacino that you could never afford, okay? If you want to hang out with Al Pacino, what do you want, Al Pacino now? He's fried. What you really want is George Janko. He'll teach you what Al Pacino never even knew before he was an adult. So here he is. It's uh, Janko giving a suicide prevention rap. Now, this came out three oh. years ago, which was the same time around Logan's suicide forest thing. So Very, maybe it was inspired yeah. by that? It's called George Jenko's Rap About Suicide. And I think a lot of you people need to hear this because a lot of Red Bar listeners are on the verge of killing themselves. So let's hear what he has to say here. Again, this is not Dashboard Confessional. It's not um, who else looks like this. It's not any of these people. This is George Jenko. Uh, if I was gone, would I be missed? If I was alive, would I be dissed? Yes. If I love, would I be dismissed? These are the things that I think when I'm in the dark, shining, but I'm shining by myself. Everybody Oops. in the room wouldn't care about my health. And I think that if I was gone, would anybody even care? If I was in the room, if anybody know I'm here, uh. uh. Line after line, I'm saying it to myself and my work one more try. Gun in my hand, new plan. Bust my brains out up in the sand. Hold on. Gun in my hand, yes. new plan, bust my brains open here <laughs> in the sand. You uh, n went to the beach to end it. At least it's a nice setting. I uh, have to disagree. I don't care if others commit suicide. You're going to hear things in the song like, oh my God, it's not worth it. Every cliche in the world he's going to throw at you. You could be anything you want to be. You can't. <laughs> oh my God, just give it another day. Oh, life is... It's not. Let them go. What do people <laughs> care if others kill themselves? Why would you care? The families. Let them go. That's how I say it. All right. Oh, the families. Trust me. Families don't care about each other as much as they claim to care. <laughs> you got to stop with this family thing. You really think it's such a strong, important thing. Trust me. They don't care. A, a dad, even the best mom and dad could get over a son's suicide in three months. They don't even know how strong they are. You know, we should encourage people. End your life. Leave. Run away from home. Everyone will be fine. They can suck it up. <laughs> I want to hear a song like that. Take well, your life if you, you feel should. bad. Take your life if you look bad. Take your life if you're weird at school. They're going to make fun of you. Maybe you're the one to write yeah. this song. I should start, I really want to, how how do you get into that assembly circuit at schools? <laughs> Imagine me giving an assembly, wireless mic. Here he is, Michael Relish, a.k.a. Wireless Mike, a.k.a. In it to win it. And I'm teaching the kids how to sell door-to-door -door stereos. So I that think they it can was pretty easy. Like when I was in elementary, every week there was yeah, just a guy assembly. who brought a little microphone thing along with him and he stands in front of let's you. Contact a couple local a couple school. Let's contact a local school and go, let's call a school I, and ask what it takes to give an assembly. I think that's a great, great, fun call. <laughs> so get me a number of a school, doesn't matter where it is. Surely a high school right now is running Saturday school. A oh, detention, yeah. a detention. We'll call a Saturday school. Get me a high school phone number in a small town. All right, let's hear his rap. Do not take your own life Stop. by choice. Before you make a decision choice. that will kill you, why don't you think of people that love you? Your mom, your dad, maybe your siblings. Your friends, the people that will sing at the funeral when you're gone and shed the tear. Honestly, you make a decision that is not clear. How you gonna take your life? How you gonna take, take your life? life? What happened to the future? What about having a wife? Maybe kids? Maybe your family? You can do anything if you put your mind to. Honestly, killing. Stop with that. What is all these positive? You could do anything. And it sounds so bad. 
but every guy they fall into this is it are there people out there that thinks this line sounds pretty cool you could be anything if you put your mind to it to me that is the ultimate <laughs> most cockatooed thing a man can utter i want to talk a little bit about me I am such a solar opposite on Hulu <laughs> that uh, to me that line, you could be anything you want to be. We've all heard this before, right? I would never say, I wouldn't say that to my son if he was peeling in the sun's ultimate last day rays. My son's skin was burning off as if we got too close to Ven Venus. I wouldn't say you could be anything you want to. And they always get choppy. Do you notice uh, people, goody two-shoe type people, they get choppy. You could be anything that you want to be. No, you can't. And why would you want another man being anything but dead? What, would you, what are you getting off on this guy, like, following his life? Who cares? <laughs> you could be, I do not know why you are giving up on society. You could be anything that you want to be. Why? Why would you root for that? Why would you cheer for that as another man? In yourself, this is something you should really do. Think about it. It's kind of psychotic. How you really think that it's probiotic? It ain't medicine. It's honestly taking you to the end. So honestly, how could you even begin a thought like that? I know you win the dog and fight back. The demon is on your right back. He's telling you just do it. You're not nothing to lose. Just you. But tell me, tell me, how are you gonna think about that? Your family would really, really be sad. In your head, you're saying, no, not that. Yeah. Honestly, you're saying that it's not bad. You're telling yourself that, would you be missed? Would you be this? Would you be dismissed if you had just one kiss? But I'm telling you, life is one worth kiss. living. And even if it's struggling, I'm going to let you know that it's tough. Sometimes I don't really feel like I have luck. Why do we keep telling kids that it's important to your legacy? You're going to be missed. And all this, who gives a you shit? Didn't even get to Let have the one kid kiss. die. You have another kid. There's another kid for every guy out there. <laughs> you want to miss a kid? There's another kid you could find. He's right there and he's fine. You know, this would be like if um if a uh, dolphin was making a song about all the fish that he saw lose their lives this year at the ocean. Did you guys watch Godzilla versus Kong? Godzuki versus Kang Kang. So many people died. Nobody cared. Yeah. More like George Floyd versus Kumia, huh? You know? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I should just give up and not my life. I'm talking about the situation like riding and all this pipe and shit. And honestly, I'm getting kind of mad. Getting got of sad. Because I read emails like that. Like, dear George Danko, thanks for the laugh. But honestly, I feel like this one is just my last. And I'm like, why? Why are you saying <laughs> goodbye? Why don't you want to give it just one more? I, they, and they always say, like, suicides are on the rise. So many people. Where? Who's doing this? And how are they doing it? Little kids are killing themselves? I don't think so. Asian hate crimes and suicides are always on the rise because of COVID. Why? We don't know. We just want to tell you they're on the rise. We don't look into it. Plus, isn't it kind of cool, Janko, that someone's last laugh was to you? You should want that. I mean, I can't even imagine a kid committing suicide. Where do they get the skill to do something like that? You know? They know. They're born with no, it. There's been two kids that have ever committed suicide, and they, they've created this lore to scare the bejesus out of everybody. Imagine if your son killed himself. How psycho he'd be. Go <laughs> try. Why you really that sad? Why you really that bad? How you gonna take your life, man? Is it that bad? Hold up. Where's your mom? Where's your dad? Where's your friends? Where your pals really at? They don't have any. That's why they're killing Just grab my What is so bad about taking your own life? That your mom might miss you in some selfish way for a week? <laughs> Get over it. Then take your life, too. I, I just don't understand how they've tricked you into thinking that these kids' lives are so, so valuable. Have you seen what the kids turn into when they turn not kid? Pretty ugly, pretty brutal kids. Go walk around any town and go, oh, look at all these beautiful people. I dare you. They're not beautiful. Trust me. <laughs> this is like a debate club between you and Janko. Yes, it is like a debate club. Maybe should it should be a the rap kids kill debate. themselves or no? Why do you give a fuck, you pedophile, if a kid loses his life? Why he's not in the aisle, another kid's butt that you can't grab? What you some type of fucking pedophile? F Why you want kids living? More to pick from? 
Leave the kids alone, you fucking pedophile. <laughs> How about that in response? And then you go, no, but Mike, see what you're not seeing here? Did a bunch of kids. Well, I guess they yeah, I'm queer. Yep, that's it, huh? <laughs> you want more kids? You want kids that are lifeless, that are on the verge <laughs> to stay alive. That way you can fuck them. They're easier to fuck, huh, these lifeless suicidals. <laughs> Why would you want a suicidal alive? That's like saying, ah, yes, the craziest man amongst us. Yes, stay alive, drive a car, go to places. No, no, no. If you're a suicidal, get the hell out of here. You just said the scariest thing we could think of. You'd kill yourself? If you're suicidal, are you still afraid of Freddy? Are you afraid of Jason? Are you afraid of other murderers? Or should they be afraid of you at this point? Freddie's not interested in people who want to die. To me, somebody who's willing to commit suicide automatically has climbed the ladder and you are the top monster. Okay. You're like crazier than Dahmer. You're crazy. You're the worst person ever. You should be locked up. Can we call suicide hotline? No, I wanted to call. Who did I want to call? The schools. Here today? The schools. Did you get me a school? Because I think that'd be cool to call a school. I had physically, you're mentally, okay. honestly, you're sad. Write me an email or a DM. I will answer it AM or just a PM. I don't care, I'll be there like amen. Cause I'm saying a prayer for you and all the men that you're, I haven't seen. Cause I'm saying a prayer for you and other men. I mean, I, have you ever heard anything like that? To say a prayer for all these guys? Suicide is cringe. Take my money, Mike. If you would kill yourself, imagine who else would you would kill. Yeah, exactly like that. And really, it shouldn't be anyone's business. You know, take your life. Take the fuck out of it. Uh, if you're willing to kill yourself, you have it in you to kill anyone, says someone. That's how I look at it. Yeah, I think a suicide attempt should land you 25 years in federal prison. 